BC. Um, and we're going to first start with our history sentence. And our history sentence is... Come, 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 come. I have to introduce my baby. You know, Asa. <laughs> We're here on our little mini vacay. But, Ow. hello. All right, so let me get back to work. All right, now, we're going to start with our memory work, our history sentence, which is, tell me about the Reformation. Now, first I'm going to show you the hand motions, and then we're going to move into um, doing it with, along with the music. All right, here we go. In 15, so we're going to do 5, 10, and 15. So, just fives. I have to keep it simple for my class, so please bear with me if I'm a little cheesy. <laughs> Alright, 5, 10, 15. Alright, and 15, 17. So, we hold our, we hold up five fingers, and we'll bring our middle finger and our thumb touching. Very good, and we're just going to shake it. 17. 15, 17. Martin Luther, M. Three fingers, bring it down over your thumb. Oh, you got it. Great job. Martin Luther, little L, began. All right. So, Martin Luther began the Protestant Reformation. All right. So, we're going to do just kind of like a, you know, just, just a circle around your face. <laughs> I think that will be easy for everyone. Protestant Reformation by printing. So back then they had a printing press and it you left lift it up and you let it down. So we're gonna do the same thing with our hands. Lift it up, bring it down. Printing press. Alright. Uh, by printing the 95 theses. So 95 is just a nine and a five. Got it. 95 theses. Alright. Alright. Um that made Pope Leo, so we're going to do a Pope hat, Pope Leo the Tenth excommunicate him. X and out of there. Got it. All right. Now, later John Calvin. So later, thinker, pinky up, John Calvin. Great. Joined the Reformation. And this is how it all began. And we'll do it all over again. You ready to do it, the music? Great, I am too. Let's get started. All right, here we go. Have fun with it. Martin Luther began the Protestant Reformation. By printing the 95 theses that made Pope Leo the tenth excommunicate him later John Calvin joined the Reformation. This is how it all began. In 1517, Martin Luther began the Protestant Reformation. Let's see if I can do it right this time. 1517, Martin Luther began the Protestant Reformation by printing the 95 theses that made Pope Leo the tenth excommunicate him. Later, John Calvin joined the Reformation, and this is how it all began. In 1517, Martin Luther began the Protestant Reformation. That was awesome. <laughs> Hello there. Hi, guys. All right, welcome back. I am your trusty tutor, Tamika. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyway, I'm going to teach you English pronouns. And we're going to go from nominative, objective, object, possessive, possessive adjective, reflexive, interrogative, and demonstrative. Are you ready? Okay. Here we go. Have fun. Let me get the beat going here. Nominative pronouns are you, he, 
she is with you, they Objective pronouns me, you, him, her, it's us, you, them Possessive pronouns my, yours, his, hers, is ours, yours, theirs Possessive adjectives my, yours, his, hers, is ours, yours, theirs Reflective pronouns myself, yourself Himself, herself, itself, ourselves, themselves, and the rockative pronouns. Who, 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 which, what, demonstrative, this, that, these, those. <laughs> that was cute, right? All right. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I have the Hearn boys with me today. Hola. Say hi, everybody. Say hi. Hello. 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 All right. So we're going to go over our science, week seven, and it is what are the six forms of pollution? The six forms of pollution are noise, land, water, Air, thermal, radioactive. Okay, so now that you know the six forms of pollution, what do we say at the end of our Macarena? Forms Form of pollution. pollution. Okay, now let's let's do the Macarena. You ready? Forms of pollution. Ready? Noise. Woo! Land. Water. Air. Forms of pollution. Thermal. Radioactive. Water Land Air Thermal I is the it, M is S is errant, first conjugation, perfect tense. Welcome back. All right, so now we're going to do our timeline hand motions explain. 
So um, we're going to go over, start at Jesus the Messiah. So we're going to do our hands like Jesus the Messiah. Okay. Pentecost and the early church. So we're going to point to our tongue because the day of uh, Pentecost is spoken tongue. Point to our tongue and the fire. So Pentecost and the early church. Persecution. So we're going to punch it out. Persecution. And we're going to spread the gospel handing out tracts. Very good. Okay. Herod's Temple. Herod's Temple. On the rock I will build my church. Herod's Temple. Destroy. Drop your hands down by Titus. And bring your two fingers up and clamp some right oh, in between your thumb in between your two fingers. That's the letter T. So, destroyed by Titus. Diocletians, make our letter D, divides the Roman Empire. So, here and straight across. Divides the Roman Empire. Constantine, the letter C, legalizes Christianity. And we're going to do our fingers in the palm of our hands just like this. Okay? For Christianity. India's Gupta. So India, point to the your central eye, as they call it. India's Gupta dynasty, and they wore gold earrings, so we do this for the gold earring. Okay, so let's try and do it with the music. Forgive me if the light goes out, but I'm trying to do two things at one time right here. So let's play this song. Year 1 AD, year 1 AD, the cost and the early church, persecution spreads the gospel, Herod's temple destroyed by Titus, Diocletian divides the Roman Empire, Constantine legalizes Christianity, India's Buddha dynasty. That's ending our week seven. Thank you for tuning in.